Hello grade 10s and welcome to today's lesson on real numbers. This lesson will help you recap the definition of the different types of numbers we work with and the symbols we use to represent them. This diagram gives us an overview of the five numbers in the real number system that we work with. The word real means that these numbers exist. Calculations can be done with a set of numbers that are called imaginary but we don't cover that in our high school curriculum. The real number system is divided into two main parts, rational and irrational numbers. Within rational numbers, we have natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. Let's start by looking at rational numbers. Starting at the innermost circle of the diagram, natural numbers and discussing each number type as we move out. Natural numbers are often referred to as counting numbers. They begin at 1 and increase in 1s to infinity. Some examples of these are 1, 2, 3 and 4. An easy way to remember what natural numbers are is to think about a little child. If you ask them to count naturally, they start at 1 and count up in 1s. A whole number is a number that begins at zero and increases in ones to infinity. Some examples of this include zero, one, two, and three. Integers begin at negative infinity and increase in ones to positive infinity. They include all the numbers that are whole numbers as well as negative numbers that don't have any decimals. Some examples of these are negative 2, negative 1, 0 and 1. Often people get confused and think that a negative a half is an integer. They do this because of the negative sign. But remember the definition. The number must be whole. A rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction, recurring decimal, or terminating decimal. But remember that both the denominator and the numerator must be integers, and the denominator cannot be zero. Rational numbers can be negative, positive, or equal to zero. Let us look at some examples of rational numbers. Because we are able to write 5 as a fraction, it is a rational number. Notice that the denominator and numerator are integers. 2 and a half is also a rational number. If we rewrite it as an improper fraction, we see that again the numerator and denominator are integers. Now that we've gone through rational numbers, let's look at the diagram again. The diagram has been set up to show all natural numbers are whole numbers, that all whole numbers are also integers and all integers are rational numbers. All of these numbers are real numbers. To explain this more clearly, let's talk about my friend Taryn. She was born in Cape Town, South Africa. From the information we know, we can say she is a female and that she is South African. Just because she is a female doesn't mean she isn't South African. And being South African doesn't stop her from being a female. Just like this, a natural number is also a whole number, an integer, a rational number, and a real number. There is one part of the diagram we have not discussed yet. Irrational numbers. Irrational numbers can't be written as fractions, recurring decimals, or terminating decimals. Typical examples of these are pi and square roots of prime numbers. We have gone through the real number system and the definitions for each type of number. Remember to try the task videos at the end of this section. You'll also be able to learn more about algebraic expressions on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for joining us, Great Tens.